Security forces get a kinchi. Turkey's most advanced drone to date the Turkish military Sunday received a delivery of the most advanced and sophisticated drone built by the country to date. Enlarging a fleet that has already proved its success in the field. The Bayraktar Akinci, an unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, was developed by the drone magnate Baker. This cutting-edge combat drone entered the inventory of the Turkish security forces with a ceremony held in the northwestern province of Tekirdag and attended by President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Baker's chief technology officer, CTO, Selçuk Bayraktar and many other officials. Addressing the ceremony, Erdogan said Akinci places Turkey among the three most advanced countries in this technology. The aircraft, whose designs, software, avionics and mechanics all belong to Baker, is more advanced than the company's Bayraktar TB2 UCAV, which has been sold to countries including Ukraine, Qatar, Azerbaijan and Poland. In May, Poland became the first European Union and NATO member state to acquire drones from Turkey. Saudi Arabia is also said to have been interested in buying Turkish drones. Latvia also hinted that it could be the second European Union and NATO member state to acquire the Turkish UCAVs. Albania is also interested in striking a deal to procure Bayraktar TB2S. Erdogan said many more export deals have been made, adding that new agreements were underway. Many more countries are waiting in line for our national UCAVs, he noted. Baker's chief technology officer, CTO, Selçuk Bayraktar said they have signed agreements with 10 countries for the Bayraktar TB2S. This has enabled us to secure 70% of our revenues from exports, Bayraktar stressed. The Akinci is longer and wider than the Bayraktar TB2 and will perform strategic tasks. It has a 20-meter, 65-foot, wingspan with its unique twisted wing structure. It promises high flight safety thanks to its fully automatic flight control and triple redundant autopilot system. It has two 450 horsepower engines but can be equipped with 750 horsepower engines or locally made 240 horsepower engines. The Akinci will carry various weaponry, including a range of missiles such as Smart Micro Munitions, MAMEL, developed by prominent Turkish contractor Rocketson. It will be equipped with the locally produced active electronically scanned array. AESA, radar and air-to-air -air missiles Gokdoan, Merlin, and Bozdoan, Peregrine. It will be able also to launch several other types of locally made munitions, such as the Rocketson-built standoff missile, SOM. A long-range air-to-surface cruise missile that can hit targets up to 150 miles, 240 kilometers, away. Baker says the Akinci can attack targets both in the air and on the ground. It can also operate alongside fighter jets and fly higher and stay in the air longer than Turkey's existing drones. Akinci in July set a new national aviation record as it flew at an altitude of 11,594 meters, 38,039 feet. Although it was initially designed to have an impressive 24 hours of endurance. The drone stayed in the air for 25 hours and 46 minutes during the flight tests in the Akinci Flight Training and Test Center in the Korlu district of Tekirdag. The drone covered a distance of 7,507 kilometers in the air. The UCAV made its first flight on December 6, 2019. It passed its first firing test in late April using the latest Rocketson-built smart munitions. Defense industry A locomotive Turkey has made impressive progress in drone production in recent years. Particularly with the Bayraktar TB2. Officials have said the country has become the world's fourth largest drone producer since Ankara took the helm for domestic production to reduce reliance on Western arms.
The defense industry will be a locomotive of every other success that Turkey will achieve in the period ahead, Erdogan said. Cutting the defense industry's external dependency to 20% from 80% in such short time is one of greatest achievements in the history of the republic, he noted. Having been heavily used by the Turkish security forces, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, have seen combat and proven themselves. Bayraktar TB2 earned worldwide fame following its deployment in Syria, Libya and Azerbaijan, paving the way for more export deals. They devastated Bashar Assad regime ground forces during clashes in Idlib province in February to March 2020. They also gave decisive air support to Turkey's ally in Libya and successfully guided airstrikes that assassinated senior leaders of the PKK terrorist group over the last two years. Together with Akinci, Erdogan stressed, the world will enter into much different negotiations. Anyone who wants to move even a tiny stone in our region will first have to look at Turkey seek its consent and evaluate its approach to peace and stability, he noted. Bayraktar TB3 to perform maiden flight in 2022 in his speech. Bayraktar also announced that an upgraded version of Bayraktar TB2 will perform its maiden flight in 2022. Currently under development at the Baker facilities, the Bayraktar TB3 will be able to take off and land at Turkey's flagship to be amphibious assault ship TCG Anadolu. The landing helicopter dock, LHD, type ship is said to be the first of its kind in the world as a vessel allowing the landing of UCAVs on its dock. It will be used in multi-purpose operations and is set to be delivered by the end of the year or in 2022. Unmanned fighter jet Baker is also working on a domestically made unmanned fighter jet, which Bayraktar said would make its maiden flight in 2023. The jet is projected to conduct a multitude of military actions, such as strategic offensive, close air support, CAS, missile offensive, suppression of enemy air defenses, SEED, and destruction of enemy air defenses, DEAD. The aircraft is set to have a high operational altitude and takeoff weight of 5,500 kg, 12,125 pounds. It will carry a 1,500 kg useful payload. The jet is set to have 5 hours of endurance and will be able to reach speeds of up to 800 km per hour.